$1,472 US dollars and 30 cents in August 2016 to approximately $4,764 US dollars and 80 cents in August 2017. It makes up about 64.01% of the total value of all cryptocurrencies as of March 9, 2019 with more than 7.1 million active users. As Bitcoin is designed to transform the existing financial system and remove finance intermediaries, it has the strong potential to affect the global economy. It can function both as a safe haven asset in some cases. In some way, it's an alternative method to the global financial system. Banking sectors, investors, governments, and companies have taken a real-time interest in this type of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin in the global economy, digging through concept. Bitcoin has some properties that authorized money, and other traditional currencies, gold, etc., don't. That's why it has the power to affect the global economy. It has been long called digital currency for some reason. Here are some Bitcoin unique characteristics that could promote economic growth and present a game-changing global financial breakthrough. Storage. Bitcoin only exists in digital form, and there's no physical shape or form just like cash. Hence, it can technically be stored only in a digital wallet. This digital wallet can quickly be restored using a seed phrase if you access it from different devices you usually use, new phones, tablets, or any other devices. Security. Since Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency, it was designed to eliminate the possibility of fraud by making it a real-time transaction process. Also, it does not involve third parties or intermediaries, so you have the full authority to manage and control your assets. Portable. Unlike traditional currencies and assets, Bitcoin is easily carried around. It offers a portable, divisible, fungible, and irreversible digital currency. As long as you have a device to access your digital wallet, you can transact directly. Anonymity. Bitcoin stored in the digital wallet doesn't need to be connected to any explicitly distinguishing data. So, it's the opposite of traditional banks that know all intents and purposes about their customers, from personal data to their financial records. Methods of payments. As mentioned above, Bitcoin is set out to be a digital currency and a new kind of money, which means it can be used as a means of payment. Today, many companies in various industries accept Bitcoin as their legitimate form of funds. Here's the comparison between Bitcoin and other currencies, gold and fiat money, to give you a better understanding on why this digital currency is something worth talking about. Image source. How Bitcoin transforms global economy. The story of Bitcoin is indeed just getting started, but it's already transforming the global economy. In this matter, it becomes crucial to know how it will shape the global economy and market in the coming years. Here are some visible impacts of Bitcoin on the worldwide economy. Number 1. Shifts in global investments. Many investors are now adding cryptocurrencies, particularly Bitcoin, into their portfolios. This is most likely because Bitcoin allocation higher their chances to improve portfolio upside. Take a look at the chart below. Image. In the chart above, Van Eck reports that, a small allocation to Bitcoin significantly boosts the cumulative return of a 60% equity and 40% bonds portfolio allocation mix while only minimally impacting its volatility. On the other hand, some experts are having an ongoing concern about the Bitcoin collapse that can spark a global financial crisis. But, at the end of the day, investors see cryptocurrencies as a hedge against inflation. Number 2. Separates transactions from the dollar. Cryptocurrencies do not require any connection to the US dollar. The involved parties of a financial transaction are given another avenue to participate in the global economy while, at the same time, circumventing US economic policies. Even though it might seem like a threat to the government because the US dollars act as the reserve currency for the global economy, which is the primary source of US global power, it enables more international transactions. Number 3. Eliminates the need for middlemen. Bitcoin as a whole is inherently designed to allow peer-to-peer -peer electronic transactions between counterparties without the intervention of any third party. It does not require an intermediary, or a go-between, unlike the traditional currency. Transactions are validated in a decentralized fashion. This fact has made banking institutions anxious, as it eliminates the need for their service. What's more, 
transacting through cryptocurrencies is much quicker as it doesn't have to pass through multiple hands. Number 4. Encourages more overseas transactions. Since lots of people living in countries around the world with weak economies still don't have a bank account, Bitcoin comes in handy to engage them with the global internet economy. That way, people who live in typically less developed countries have a chance to connect with the internet economy. All that is needed is a digital wallet to make transactions anywhere in the world. In the last three months of 2020, each day saw an average 287,492 confirmed Bitcoin transactions worldwide. Image. The transaction is quite fast, transparent, confidential, and secure. Also, the transaction fees may be much more affordable than in conventional payment systems, credit or debit cards. Number 5. Reduces high reliance on fiat money. As a decentralized currency, Bitcoin is free from any economic and political issues that often can affect traditional currencies. That's where Bitcoin is designed to be a digital currency that can be an alternative for authorized or fiat money. Today, customers have become more reliant on digital transfer, as it's convenient in the sense of transaction speed, as a handy means to pay for products and services. Using Bitcoin as a payment method can reduce the reliance on traditional or authorized money. What is more interesting is that the people who have already dabbled in Bitcoin believe that their virtual cash enjoys the same level of security as authorized money. Number 6. Regulation of Bitcoin. Now that Bitcoin has become ubiquitous, both national and regional authorities prompt to grapple with their financial regulations. In this matter, central banks are working hard to put this ad hoc financial system under control. It can lead to laws specifically addressing this cryptocurrency and speculative bubble that Bitcoin will potentially cause. Different countries have different approaches to cryptocurrency, some of them, Algeria, Bolivia, Morocco, Nepal, Pakistan, and Vietnam, ban any or all activities involving Bitcoin. In contrast, some others use it as a means of payment. For example, in the USA, Canada, Australia, the European Union accepts cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, as a means of payment even by government agencies. For more insights about regulation of Bitcoin in each country, take a look at the map below. Image source. Number 7. Removes barriers to entry and emerges new market. Bitcoin established a global decentralized transaction network that eliminates the necessity of any centralized institutions for currency issuance and settlement. In this case, it has opened the door for a new kind of market and opportunities where no authority or individual controls the money market. So, rather than persuade the venture capitalists, banks, and other financial institutions for their prospective project, they can bypass the regulations and authority through initial coin offerings, ICO. With ECO, startups and small businesses around the world can sell some of their coins to get their business off the ground. Number 8. Opens access to a credit system. Bitcoin enables unbridled access to a reliable credit system since it's a type of unregulated digital currency that's based wholly on data. If the price remains stable for an extended period, it'll be able to bridge people who are isolated from global merchants continuously. Thus, it will open new markets as well as new opportunities that can contribute to sustainable and inclusive growth in the global economy. What's more interesting is that Bitcoin does not require any pricey fees for transactions, which makes it much more appealing for its users and people who are considering using it. Number 9. Starts new era of crowdfunding. Talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies isn't complete without mentioning ECOs. In 2017, it was the talk of the technology town as it has become the leading crowdfunding method for blockchain-based startups. This new method of crowdfunding allows companies or organizations to raise capital in the form of cryptocurrencies. Image. From the card above, CB Insights reports that over 5x more capital deployed in ECOs compared to the equity financings to blockchain startups in 2017. At the end of 2017, the number jumped to a whopping 7x. What happens in ECO crowdfunding is that the investors buy cryptocurrency coins that represent shares in the project just like how the stock market works. Hence, the shares have the potential to increase in worth if the company does well. It's referred to as crypto equity crowdfunding. This new era of crowdfunding is crucial in helping inventors, entrepreneurs, 
and creators improve the world, including creating a sustainable economy. Number 10. Changes on the international remittances industry. Overseas remittance drives economic growth in emerging economies. That way, many people around the world work overseas and regularly send money to their families and loved ones in their home country. At present, this money has to be managed by intermediaries, including banks or other money transfer services that charge high costs for transaction fees. Also, the transaction process is so slow and takes several days before the receiving party can access the funds. In this matter, Bitcoin comes as a game changer. Bitcoin can instantly be transferred across the globe securely. It makes the overseas remittance process a lot easier, cheaper, and more secure. Today, at least 11 Bitcoin providers have already started foreign remittance services, including Ribbit, BitPesa, and Abra. Number 11. Environmentalism. Every coin has two sides, so does Bitcoin, so to speak. Other than the direct and straightforward impact that Bitcoin gives to the global economy, it also impacts the environment in a not-too-subtle way. Bitcoin mining requires a sophisticated software and hardware infrastructure system, and it reportedly accounts for a more significant deal of energy than the entire world uses today. It takes at least a staggering 77 TWH, terawatt hour, each year to operate the computers and networks that power Bitcoin operations. Image. With more and more people dabbling in the Bitcoin network and trying to mine it, this insane amount of energy will still have the potential to increase. In such cases, environmental law and regulatory framework will have to be created to address energy consumption related to Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin in the global economy, a global reserve currency? As the most well-known and highly... <music>